everybody, it's Miss Higby here and welcome to my second languages video. Um, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who liked and shared and commented on my video. Um, I didn't really think that many people would be interested in it and I certainly didn't think that um, it would it would gather so many views and so many people who were sharing it. Um, I kind of only made these videos to start off with just for children in my class and children in my school really so to know that they've been helping children who are in different schools in different parts of the country is really really lovely so thank you so much. Um, I really hope you enjoy this second video just as much. So today we are going to be focusing on French again um, and we're going to be looking at greetings. This is actually a two-part video, so this is part one. Um, and the reason that I have split it into two parts is because there is quite a lot of vocab to learn. And if we do it all in one video, you'll probably go in one ear and out the other ear. So that is why we've done it like this. So before we start, we're going to look at what we did last time and we're going to practice our number. So last time we learned how to count up to 10 in French. So let's give that a go straight away. Are you ready? When the numbers change colour, that's when you say them. Ready? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Très bien, well done. I hope that you've been practicing that at home as well. If you want to, you can pause this video here and you can have a go uh, really quickly, just saying the different numbers in a different order. Or if you wanted to, you can count forwards, you can count backwards. If you're doing this video with a grown up, you might ask them to say a number in English and then you can have a go at repeating it back en français, in French. Okay. So today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to greet people in French. And that word greet might not be a word that you've come across before, but when you greet somebody, you are saying hello, saying goodbye, you're having a bit of a conversation with them really. And you might even be telling them your name, asking them a bit of information about themselves. So today we've got three objectives and they are that we're going to listen and repeat new words in French. We're going to be learning how to say hello, goodbye, as well as introducing ourselves in French. And then finally, you're going to have a go at joining in a conversation in French. Now, obviously, that's a little bit tricky um, when you're watching a video, but we are going to try our best. So, as with last time, we've got two instructions. If you can't remember what they were, here they are again. So, we've got listen which is écouté, écouté, and we have repeat. So repeat is when I say the word and you copy and you say the word back. And that is répété, répété. Okay, so écouté, répété. D'accord. Préparez-vous à commencer. Get ready to start. Here we go. Écouter. Bonjour. Répéter. Bonjour. Bonjour. Écouter. Salut. Salut. Répéter. Salut. Salut. Écouter. Au revoir. Au revoir. Répétez. Au revoir. Au revoir. I like to do different faces and actions for some of these words just so um, we know the difference. So if we're saying hello, so bonjour, salut is a happy smiley face. And when we say goodbye, uh, we're sad because we don't want that person to go. So we're saying au revoir, au revoir. Okay. Comment tu t'appelles? Écoutez. Comment tu t'appelles? 
Comment tu t'appelles? Répétez. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? And if, if it helps you, you might want to break this phrase down into different parts. So you've got Comment? 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 Tu? Tu? Comment tu? Comment tu? T'appelle. T'appelle. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? And remember, this is a question, so when your voice uh, gets to the end, your voice should go a little bit higher because that's what happens when we ask a question. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Okay, the next one is going to be a little bit confusing because... It is the same phrase. So we are still asking, what's your name? Um, there are two different ways you can say it. So you can either say, comment tu t'appelles? Or you can say, comment t'appelles tu? Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, in France, they kind of swap and change between the different ones. So whatever one that you feel more comfortable with, that is absolutely fine. They mean exactly the same thing. And for those of you who are wondering, the exact translation of this phrase um, doesn't exactly translate into what is your name. So if you were to put this into Google Translate, um, something else might come up. So the exact translation of this is how are you called? So you've got comment, which is how, and you is to, and called is appel. So how are you called? What is your name? So we've got Comment tu t'appelles? And we've also got Comment t'appelles tu? Comment t'appelles tu? So, of course, if somebody asks you, What's your name? Comment tu t'appelles? You're going to respond with, My name is en français. So, you're going to say, Écoutez, Je m'appelle, Je m'appelle, and then your name. So, um, if I was going to say, um, if somebody asked me, I would say, Je m'appelle Mademoiselle Higby. Je m'appelle Mademoiselle Higby. And if you're wondering why I didn't say Miss Higby, that is because Miss in French is Mademoiselle. Okay, so see if you can have a go. Écoutez, Je m'appelle Répétez and then add your name on at the end. Je m'appelle. Well done. Please make sure you're having a go because that is the best way to learn, okay? Even if you're at home, on your own, doesn't matter. Give it a go. Okay. Oh, my favourite one. My favourite one. So, if you want to tell somebody how old you are, you're going to say this phrase. Now, you will see that there is a line on the screen in the middle of the two words. That is because you are going to add in a piece of your own information because mine is probably going to be different to yours. Okay, and this is when we're saying how old we are. Okay, so where the gap is, that's where you're going to put a number. Okay, so if I was seven, écoutez, j'ai sept ans. J'ai sept ans. If I was ten, I might say, J'ai dix ans. J'ai dix ans. And finally, if I was five, I would say, J'ai cinq ans. J'ai cinq ans. Okay. So I'll say it this time without a number in the middle so you can hear exactly what it is. So, écoutez. J'ai ans. J'ai ans. Okay. Répétez, j'ai ans, j'ai ans. Have a go and see if you can try to add in your, your number, so your age. So however old you are, try and add that number in. So you've got, remember, un, I'd be very impressed if there are any one-year-olds doing this. So, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, 
with neuf dix. Okay, so have a go now. J'ai onze. J'ai onze. Très bien, excellent. D'accord. Okay, and if you want to ask somebody how old they are, you're going to say, écoute, quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Répète, quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Okay, well, let's break this one down again. So we're going to break this one down into four chunks. Okay, so écoute, répète, quel, quel, âge, âge, a, a, tu, tu. Quel âge? Quel âge? As-tu? As-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? And again, this sentence, if you were to translate this uh, word for word exactly how it is, um, doesn't say how old are you. The phrase actually um, translates to what age have you? Um, and if we look back, at the other sentence, j'ai onze, is actually, the j in j'ai is an i, a translate as, translates as being has or have, and onze is years. So actually this sentence translates to being, I have seven years, and how, how many years, what age are you? Okay, so, Let's just practice those two ones together again. So, quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? J'ai six sons. J'ai six sons. Très bien. Okay, let's test to see now how well you were listening. I've got two children here, deux enfants, and this is a listening practice. So, we're going to practice your listening skills. So, I'm going to read you a sentence en français. And I want you to listen out for what the child says their name is and how old they are, okay? I'll then show you in French to see if you can have a go at reading it and then I'll tell you what the answer is in English. D'accord. Bonjour, je m'appelle Martin. J'ai six sons. I'll read it to you again. Bonjour, je m'appelle Martin. J'ai six Okay, so here's the sentence en français. Bonjour, je m'appelle Martin. J'ai six So well done if you got it right. The little boy's name is Martin and he is six years old. Très bien, super. Okay, moving on to the next one. Oh, there we go in English. Okay, here's the next one. Salut, je m'appelle Chloe, j'ai cinq ans. Salut, je m'appelle Chloe, j'ai cinq ans. Okay, so here is the sentence en français. Salut, je m'appelle Chloe, j'ai cinq ans. And well done if you said that her name was Chloe. And she was five years old. Très bien. D'accord. Okay. Here is the tricky bit now. Um, if we were in a classroom, this would obviously be very different because we'd be able to do this face to face and I could actually hear you rather than just talking into a webcam. So what's going to happen is the words on the screen are going to be your words. Okay. I will speak, you will speak, and that's going to be our actions. You've got moi, tu, d'accord? Me, you, moi, tu, okay? I will go first, okay? If you don't want to do this part, um, you can save it for later, you can do it with a grown-up, completely up to you. Are you ready? Bonjour! Comment tu t'appelles? Oh. Quel âge as-tu? 
Très bien, merci. Okay, so it's now your turn to be in charge of the conversation. So this time, you are going to be the one asking me the questions and I will be answering them. Okay? Still make sure you're reading the words on the screen. Get ready. Bonjour. Moi, je m'appelle Mademoiselle Higby. J'ai vingt-six ans. Et toi, quel âge as-tu? Au revoir. Okay, fantastic. Très bien. Really quick session today. Lots of information to get a hold of. Um, the best way to get better at this is to practice, practice, practice. So if you've got um, a grown-up at home, a brother or a sister, um, even if you've got your friends and you do like a WhatsApp chat or something with them, make sure you check with an adult. Or maybe you could even practice with one of your cuddly toys, even better because they won't make fun of you if you make any mistakes. So thank you so much for joining in. Hopefully today you've learned how to listen and repeat some new words in French. You've learned how to say hello, goodbye, and to introduce yourself. And you've even had a go at joining in with a conversation in French. A really good idea is to watch this video again from the beginning, just so that you've got a bit of extra time to practice those new words that we've learned. And we're going to finish today with a song. Now, I know that there will be some children watching this video today that will know this song because we have done this in my little lingos club that I run at school. Um, but it's just a really nice song to practice saying um, what your name is and saying hello and goodbye. And the song is called Du Petit Oiseau, um, which translates to Two Little Birds. I'll read you the words first and then you can listen to the music as well. Du petit oiseau, assis sur une branche, je m'appelle Fifi, je m'appelle Blanche. Bonjour Fifi, bonjour Blanche, au revoir Fifi, au revoir Blanche. And you sing that two times over. So if you want to know what the song is in English, um, the tune is actually two little dicky birds sat upon a wall. Uh, the lyrics have been changed. So it's two, two little birds sat on a branch. My name is Fifi. My name is Blanche. Hello Fifi. Hello Blanche. Goodbye Fifi. Goodbye Blanche. Okay, so let's listen to the music. If you want to have a go at singing along, you can. If you just want to listen, completely up to you. And it repeats two times. Répétez. Make sure the sound's on. Deux petits oiseaux assis sur une branche. Je m'appelle Fifi, je m'appelle Blanche. Bonjour Fifi, bonjour Blanche. Au revoir Fifi, au revoir Blanche. Du petit oiseau, assis sur une branche. Je m'appelle Fifi, je m'appelle Blanche. Bonjour Fifi, bonjour Blanche. Au revoir Fifi, au revoir Blanche. Well done if you joined in. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's video. Merci. Thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you to everybody who has liked, subscribed, um, shared the videos. Um, I definitely wouldn't have done a second one unless without all of your support and encouragement. So thank you so, so much. Um, and join in next time for French Greetings Part 2. And I also know that there has been um, some of you commenting and asking if there are going to be any more language videos in different languages. Um, hopefully this week I'm going to be starting making a Spanish video so make sure you subscribe so that you can stay um, up to date for that and I look forward to seeing you next time. Au revoir!
action. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, no. no. Oh my goodness, we do not want that to play again. We do not want that to play again. <laughs> 